Hello everyone, this is Bethel back in a 7 with King Pilchard the 8th's dungeon. In the last part we took care of the lower floor and the mid-low floor, or the lower low mid floor? I, I forget. The, the one between lower and middle. Anyway, middle floor time. And the half just got himself stuck there like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, that's uh, that, that's totally not a reference to anything. That is totally not a reference to anything. Well, whatever. The reference is gone, so. But wait, I just said that it wasn't a reference to anything. Oh, whatever. Okay, so yeah, more trapdoors to drop, and look, tar stuff, mother. It's gonna make a mess. I'm gonna have to fight them little baby things. Oh no. <laughs> what? Okay, but yeah. Um... Wait, is there a puzzle I'm not aware of here? Where I have to. Oh no, the dull blow up. No, okay. Alright. I thought it would have been like a clever puzzle where I have to make sure that the tar babies don't get stuck, but. Nah, not now. I think that hold is a little too low on the difficulty scale for stuff. It's so horrid. Awful. Oh. No, stop, stop dying. Ah, Beethro, please. Yeah, it's really getting old, that dying shtick, you know, right? Oh. On the plus side. Something, I guess. Maybe? Hey, wait! Hey, wait! Oh, fudge bars. I guess he didn't hear me. I should have done this a little more gruff. Oh, whatever. Okay, so... Always face east. Gee, I wonder how that one's gonna play out. Um, yeah, it's totally none of that just there. Now what? Okay, I so that was just uh, a little easy orb restriction thing. Okay, so now more door sandwiches. This time with mud. Let me just uh, kill this guy over there. You, I mean, I have to clear up the tar anyway, so the trapdoors are gonna be found, so I'm not gonna bother with uh, F3. I try to avoid using puzzle mode where possible because... Well, I don't know. Opaque tar just looks better to me. Okay, well, I didn't count on walls being there, but... You know what? I already made my decision. Let's just stick with it. It's not that bad anyway. At least I don't think it is. Betting this is like one of the tougher rooms in this hold. Okay, No spawning for you. Okay, I should be able to kill all the mud in this. Uh... There we go. Oops, and open up this. Just 
gonna do this. out quite well. Alright, so now... Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. It's also not right. Okay. And clear. Gonna hit that other orb and we're done. Interesting room, I guess. 23rd place. Alright, so... Set up. Tunnel maze! Ooh! I can't get enough of that tunnel maze! Uh, oh, okay. Hey, dude, you're stuck! Ha ha ha! I knew it, he's a fake. Okay, so, this is a manipulation puzzle. I've got, I got to get everything in place. Been time for the big play! Or something. Oh. Are you kidding me? Movement order! Ruining lives since 1997. Or not, okay. Alright, so let's open the door and get out of here. Guessing that's a toggle door. Right, up we go. Um, that's a lot of roaches. Okay, when does it end? When does it end? Okay, it ended. Actually, maybe I should just keep the brain around. It makes things a lot easier, I think. Okay, let me just... Right. Yeah, I can just keep doing that. It's not efficient, but I never really gave a carp about that anyway. Never truly did give a carp a DM. <sighs> what? Hmm? Alright. Non efficient way complete. This should be an achievement for being this terrible. <laughs> I'm coming to get you, imposter. At this point, I'm pretty, I pretty much just forgot the voices. Middle upper floor. Okay, so the other one was middle lower. Anyway. <clears throat> Bethro ascended the stairs in quietness darkness. He heard nothing. The deafening silence filling his ears. But he aimed for the light. It's very soon on the next floor. Right, so now I drink the puzzles. The puzzles? What's that? I don't know. Does it have puzzles? That's not a puzzle. It's a roach. There now, it's dead. It that that's still not a puzzle. It's a horde room. An interesting one at that, but don't get your term terminologies mixed up, man. This this is a horde room. Oh look, see. Let me just uh do this. Oh, 
Again, not efficient, but I'm too lazy to care. Yep. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get out of here and move on here. So yeah, they they're, they're in order or something. Okay, so this is a part where speed running, I guess. Oh no, tar. All right, let's go down there. What madness could await us now? That, that. Oh look, walls underneath tar. This time I'm not get letting you get away with this. Yep, it sure is a room with mud. What else there is, is there to say? You know what, how about I just make a mad dash for the mud? Now, yeah. mad dashed. Oh, quit stalking me, you! Okay, it's through here. Quickly now, before the mad bus attacks us or something, I don't know. Okay, so now we just gotta do a little cleanup. Plus side, nothing too horrible. I don't think. Well, I don't know. It seems a little tedious, but... That's to be expected in life. I mean, if you don't do a little tedious work every now and then, you know, paperwork... Um, yeah, paperwork, uh, filing taxes, cleaning up, cleaning up mud... I mean... It's fun to always have fun, but you can't always have fun because I'm pretty sure you can't literally have fun all the time. I mean, I would be one would be more than happy for that to be true, but if life were like that, it I guess the good parts wouldn't really be worth it because it's the drudgery that makes the fun parts all that more fun. If the fun becomes constant, then the fun becomes, in a way, a sort of drudgery. Then fun becomes not fun, because it's what you're always doing. You're, then you just get used to always having this level of fun, to a point where it just kind of gets boring. So, maybe that's just me, but the boring makes the fun that much better. Doesn't excuse it, but it does create that balance. I guess. Okay, so that's it. Let's just head to the east. And this is stupid. Just... Boom, 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 boom. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Okay. Let me try something else. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. That was so easy, it hurt. Well, not really, but... Got pretty close. That's the same situation all over again. Uh, 
Alright, that wasn't too bad, I guess. It was a little clever. Got to make a little sense, but in the end... In the end, something, something. I don't know. Okay, snakes. Don't tell me there are going to be many snakes in the next room. I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, I gotta say, this is... This is pretty tedious. Die. Roger, I have to go all the way around now? That's done. Being so dumb. Okay. Oh, gee, who the called it? I did. Come on. Oh, wow. This is just. This is tedious. And I gotta wait for this guy, too. What fun. Not. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this room is making me tired. Just die. What she does it toggle or okay no? Alright. So I won't waste my time trying. And there's another one! Oh. Rattlesnakes. No, for some reason I... Emergency unlock, okay. Oh. <sighs> yeah, you know what? I'm not even gonna let the, those stupid snakes do this to me. Are you kidding me? Five times before retirement, you do this to me. How could you? Okay, now you can... Oh, I'm not gonna do that because stupid brain. Naturally, I also have to put up with a... Oh, wow. A bunch of roaches and a snake at the same time. This is my favorite part, except it isn't. Good. I like it better when you're trapped like that. I can go kill that stupid brain. Actually, killing those stupid queens would also be a good idea. The plus side, it's way better than those two previous rooms because those were just a chore. Through and through. Oh, well, that does a good job of trapping a snake. Let me try something. There we go. That keeps the queens in place, which will make it easier for me to kill them all. Alright, so now let's just deal with those stupid snakes. Hey, you got trapped in there. That really helps my job. Actually, how about I just try to trap them all in there, huh? Is that a good idea overall? Well, it would be if they would cooperate, but... That's just me.
That kind of works for me. Oh, cut that out. Uh, stop. Never knows when to give up, that stupid blue guy. It's a real trooper, I tell ya, but... That's exactly what... He's gonna lead his downfall. He's a loose cannon, that blue snake, I tell ya. It's a loose cannon. Okay, only one more snake. You know what? I find a fair amount of fun in killing rattlesnakes. Way better than those stupid loopy snakes. They are certainly not intelligent. Well, they were. No, wait, no, they weren't. Don't want any brains. They were just jerks. I don't like jerks. Jerks deserve to have their face smashed in the door. Which is exactly what I did to those red snakes. Funny how that works, huh? Uh. Actually, come to think of it, I should probably go smash my face in the door. Just a random errant thought. Or thought. Yeah. But first, I'll do this. Still more things to do. Upper floor. It looks like a guard. I have to be careful if I want to get through. There you go. A demented bee thrill will turn northwest, move south twice, and spin clockwise. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? Why why would it have to be a demented bee thrill that does that? Oh wow, this is ugly. Is that is that Ezlo's icon? Or at least it was, I think. Hmm, where have I seen this before? Yeah, I think that's what I said. Okay, so this is just gonna lead to oh wow. Seriously, that those fuses just make everything look ugly. Okay, uh, so I'm supposed to go there, okay. Yeah, right, there's a... Is that why I was supposed to be demented? The silver was actually made by my little sister and then altered to make solvable by me. Alright. I wonder what the original version looked like. You know what, I'm gonna deal with this snake first. I'm almost willing to bet that, uh, that his sister made a tougher room that was actually possible, but he couldn't solve it. Fair enough, I won't, I won't criticize him for that. Gosh knows that I made stupid rooms that I thought were difficult but would turn out to be too easy in the end. Yes, that certainly was me in the past, alright. Good old times. Rather the bad. Uh, rusty, useless times that should be left in a bucket. Oh, that's interesting. Just, uh, 
How do I open this? Do I kill everything? I guess so. Is that the original version? Replace the rattlesnake with a serpent. Oh. Whee. Hey, it's a note. You know the rules. Wish you were here. From the challenge coordinator, Blorn. Lucky Goblin Git. Alright, so. Snake. I hate snakes. Especially horde rooms with brain snakes in them. Those are just the worst. Okay, so I gotta find a good place to start this from. I know there's a broken wall up there. Actually, how about I do this? I'll go there in a moment. Now. Okay, so room clear. What's this? Huh. Well, thanks for making the exit obvious. Thus making the entrance obvious. <clears throat> this looks interesting. Interesting little room. So, blow up the golems and master wall. That's weird. Okay, so onwards to the top, I guess. Right, that's it. I've got him now. Oh, I'd better go open it again. Gah, Riesel, you. You'll pay. Oh. Okay, you. I want answers. What do you know about the imposters? I know they're after the king. That's why I'm getting away from them. Oh, damn it. Wait a goblin minute. You're King Pilchard. Oh, the secret's out. Yes, I am the king. Whoa, you tricked me all along. I had no choice. I had to keep away from the intruders. Why were the intruders doing weird stuff? Like what? Like levitation and teleportation. They're sorcerers, black mages, whatever you want to call them. Why was there neither imposter as well? Oh, he's always been a big fan, as am I. What's that? I cannot tell. Yet. Now, please let me go. Okay, I'll go strike the old. Now let's go and get them. Okay. Now the castle gets pretty complicated, so I'll assist. Great, I'll be a cape job stopping the imposters. I had a security seal fitted at the entrance to this floor. You'll have to remove it and risk getting back attacks if you want to stop them. Come on. Upper ground floor. As B3 and the King headed for the next floor up, King Pilchar decided to give him advice about this level. Ah yes, now this level is the final defense against the monsters in my dungeon. It's a very clever system in which you have to dis disable six different locks before you can get to the ground floor. We'd better start now. And they did. The door is closed so far. I'll wait until it's open. Okay, so this is Bibi Flubber at 7 with King Pilcher at 8's dungeon. The Slayer guy is King Pilcher. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have been so distrusting of him. Well, okay, so that means that all those goof ups were plot holes instead of actual hits. Oh well. 
So the guys who are tra transforming into other guys were were, in were the intruders into the dungeon. Would this be so technically an intruder too because he entered the dungeon? Why isn't what is why isn't King Pilcher doing something about Bethro? Or is there pro is there prophecy or something? <laughs> All right, enough questions. I'll see you in the next part. Have a nice one.